Hey guys, so today I wanted to do another minimalism video because I am at my dad's and I wanted to go ahead and show you just like me going through the attic and like kind of just how I'm separating donations and what I'm gonna take to like try to sell but then also like what I'm keeping for like if I want to like if I end up having kids and want to like eventually pack down to them so that is what I'm doing today and have been trying to do over the past few days but you know how it is like sometimes those things like you least want to do you just kind of tend to put off so that is what is happening today so first we have a box over here and this is stuff that you I will be either selling and just seeing what I can get for my money and so I have like some CDs in here and like this little like frog thing that is a clock and some books that like I'm not gonna read anymore and then I have my Game Boy which I feel like some people are gonna like be like how dare you like get rid of your Game Boy but at the same time like am I really gonna ever use it again and then, of course, some stuff to, that goes to my Nintendo DS. And over here is, like, stuff I'm putting separately that is going to go to Best Buy um, for the recycling program. And so here, just, like, kind of trash where, like, it's just no longer even usable or I just don't see it being used anymore. And so I'll just end up recycling it. And so here is stuff that I want to donate, like books that I don't think are going to be able to like, you know, get, I'll be able to get any money for it because they've been like worn out in some sense. Like you can see like kind of the, you know, marks here at the bottom or either they've been like gotten stains on some part. And then of course I'm going to try to donate this, but I was, I don't know why I did this when I was a kid, but for some reason I put stickers all over this. So we are going to try to go ahead and donate that. And then these are some CDs that I just need to like look at and even see what the heck they are. So now we continue over here and I am going to actually go ahead and continue on with Stuff that I am going through so in here I have pictures and it's just pictures of like you know that from when I was a kid and most of this is stuff I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep just cuz I may not end up using everything but I would like to still just keep it just in case and I mean pictures are great memories and then of course I would say the cards like some of them are nice memories from just like different times in your life I mean I know like cards are definitely can be wasteful and like I mean you use paper for them but at the same time like I feel like personally like you know cards like you know you lose people in your life and you know sometimes those cards end up being really meaningful at the end and so that's why I like really try to go through my cards and like only keep the one that like remind me of things that like happened in my life or either like someone who really meant a lot to me and continues to mean a lot to me you know I keep those just so that then like when I want to I can sit down and read those and so I'm gonna keep everything in that box and then now over here I've got some stuffed animals <laughs> and some books I got <laughs> Build-A-Bears Build-A-Bears are so expensive so obviously I'm keeping all the Build-A-Bears and we'll just give those to kids if I have kids and even if I don't end up having kids 
I, like, for whatever reason, I definitely want kids, but if for any reason I don't have kids, I would always end up giving them to, like, a niece or a nephew or, you know, something like that. And so the other things in here are, like, books and a Bible and just, like, cute little pillows from, like, mission trips I've been on and... So I think I am going to keep everything in here, and so, next, next we have, so next we have my graduation cap from when I was in high school, and I'm definitely going to keep that. At least for now, I, you know, graduation caps are really expensive, and I, I mean, I don't have the uniform anymore, I don't think I do anyways, but, I mean, I feel like the caps at least, or at least like that one thing you keep just for a memory, and then I have this, like, purse, and I've mainly kept this because... My meemaw gave it to me, and, like, she means a lot to me, so I think I'm going to keep this, and, like, and then this, like, I've kept this because I see myself, like, probably hanging it up in, like, you know, if I have kids, like, hanging it up in the nursery, so it's just, like, a big, cute little blowfish, so I definitely think I will end up keeping this, and then a small little Bible. And this is a Bible that was given to me when I actually graduated um, from high school. And so I've been kind of like, do I want to keep it? Do I not want to keep it? So I guess for now, I probably will keep it just because it was like meant specifically for me. And then now I have this jewelry box and once again my Mima gave me this and like anything my Mima gave me is like it's really hard to separate from and so I will definitely keep this I mean and maybe like even like maybe I'll keep it and like maybe that'll be like the jewelry box I use like maybe I'll even like you know go ahead and like you know, if I want to, I could just take it and use it. Um, it's kind of funny because she spelled my name wrong. But I don't know that she did it. It might have just been the person who, like, made this. I mean, which is totally okay. I mean, it's just funny. But then I have this. And so someone gave me this. These, like, bus drivers gave me this, and it's, like, super cute, and it's really, like, nice, and so I've kept this. I love Raggedy Ann. Raggedy Ann is awesome. So, then I have this baseball cap, and once again, my Mima gave me this. So, like, I just, I have a lot of attachment with my Mima. So, I think we're going to keep all this. And now, over here, we have more stuffed animals. We got more Build-A-Bears. I don't know why, but I had an obsession with Build-A-Bears when I was a kid. Like, probably kind of crazy. But, yeah, Build-A-Bear was a thing for me. My Mima in particular took me to Build-A-Bear a lot. So, got another one. <laughs> so, and you'll notice I have a lot of frog stuff. Which is part of why, like, if you don't check out that Justin's Frog Project video I've made, you totally should. Because part of why I love it so much is not only because you're, like, helping the planet, but, like, he loves frogs. And I was like, I totally connect with you because frogs are my favorite animal. So, but then I have this frog. <laughs> and then, of course, little beanie baby. <laughs> Got my sock monkey hat. I think my mom gave me this. 
kind of funny to like go through your stuff and you're like trying to remember who gave you what. So. I feel like this is so much harder when it's like the attic because and like stuff from when you're a child because like you're like you know you like end up collecting all those things and in some way like when it's your childhood like those are things like you really like you know they bring back all those memories and you're like oh how do I like get rid of this right so that's what's like I don't know just really feeling that So, got this sock monkey hat, and I, I feel like my mom gave it to me. You know, I'm obviously never going to wear this again because, like, that's just, I'm grown up enough that I just don't wear stuff like this anymore. So, I, like, was a big sock monkey kid. I actually, like, still have a couple of, like, little mini, like, sock monkey magnets that, like, hang on like one of my like little lamps and that I have at my mom's and I just like I don't know sock monkeys are cute to me I know some people are like sock monkeys scare me and hey that's totally fine I just think they're cute and like plus like monkeys are one of my favorite animals like I mean I love frogs those are my like number one favorite animal but sock monkeys are also cute so but I think the sock monkey hat we can get rid of because honestly, like, I'm not gonna wear it again. And just the fact that, like, you know, I can actually, like, you know, I could even probably sell it because I'm, there's gotta be some kid out there who wants it, right? So, got all these stuffed animals. Honestly, all this stuff I'm probably gonna keep. I just, you know, would rather pass it down and I literally just, so I mean, it's, it's, it's a slow process and I know for going through like my, you know, kid stuff, I feel like it's just kind of been like each time I go through stuff, I slowly get rid of things, like slowly. <laughs> so... I feel like that's kind of how it's been. <laughs> now in this box, I have trophies and I mean, honestly, I'll probably just keep those. It's kind of one of those things where like trophies are that thing where like, I don't really know what to like do with those because like, I mean, they're memories, but at the same time, you're like, what do I do with those? Because, like, you know, they're that thing that, like, they're never going to use again. They just sit there. And so, I'm just, like, I don't know. I don't know. I would have to, like, do research to figure out, like, whether there's a place you could even, like, donate. Like, well, obviously not donate because they're my name's on them. But, like, figure out if there's, like, a place you could, like, literally, like, go and, like, you know, get rid of them somehow. Like, you know, maybe, like, you know, like, tear a cycle. That's it. You buy a box and, you know, basically, like, put everything in it you want recycled and mail it to them. They're kind of expensive. But that would be, like, one idea. But I guess that would be something to, like, kind of look into. I just, like, feel like... There are some things I have that, like, I'm just, like, I no longer really care about because, like, I'm an adult now. And, yeah, like, those things were, like, special to me at one time. But, like, now you're over here, like, I don't care. And, like, I'm just saying, like, when I move somewhere, like, I don't want to be carrying all this stuff with me. Like, I don't want to, like... You know, I don't only want the things that I really think I'm going to need. So trophies are kind of like, uh, we don't know yet. but So we're just going to keep them here for now. Let's take... Ah! <laughs> tripping on things. <laughs> so... We're going to put the hat in 
donation pile. Now we have this box. Um, I got a cute little pillow from a trip at Campbell. So, definitely gonna keep that. Now these pictures, I totally want to keep because these are pictures that I have always wanted to hang up in like a nursery or one of my, or like if I have children, I want to definitely um, keep and hang them up. I used to love these when I had them hung up in my room. See, this one says, I see the moon, the moon sees me, God loves the moon, and God loves me. And then the other one says, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine, you make me happy when skies are gray. And so these are pictures I definitely want to keep. I love them so much. Then, of course... More stuffed animals. Like, don't you just love how you just seem to collect so many stuffed animals as a kid? Like, I don't understand. Like, how stuffed animals are always such a big deal. I, like, honestly, like, I honestly just want to, like, I kind of hope that I don't end up, like, my kid don't end up with that many stuffed animals. Because, like, jeez. I'm, like, as I go through boxes, I just, like, see that, like, stuffed animals were, like, such a big deal. And, like, hey, stuffed animals are awesome. They really are. And they're such great comfort for children. But at the same time, oh, my gosh. That's a lot of, like, oh, just stuff. And it's not, like, good for the environment. I've actually started reading the story of stuff. Um, the YouTuber Shelby Z, I, that's how I learned about the book. And it is, like a book that she absolutely loved and I've been so excited to start reading about it and like it talks all about how like your clothes and all those things you own like were somehow originally produced and how it all like affects the environment and so I like am already like I'm loving the book so far and so I just think about, like, you know, all these stuffed animals were at one time, like, like, they, how much time it probably took to produce, like, these tons of stuffed animals I have. I mean, like, they're all so cute, but, like, you think about, like, you know, how much it took to, like, produce all of these? Honestly... Some of these stuffed animals, I, like, don't even know what to do with. I feel like I need to take a bag up here and just really go through the stuffed animals hardcore and just decide which ones do I really need to keep and which ones do I not. So, I mean, it's just definitely a lot of going through stuff, man. <sighs> I think I'm just gonna have to like take a big bag and just go through and like that might even just be another video in itself because I mean man I was a big stuffed animal kid Whew. see look more stuffed animals <laughs> And see here, Santa talks. Um, guess the battery doesn't work anymore. But he used to. And then I don't know how I came across two. But now I have two of these. And like, Santa's battery doesn't work anymore. So he, but he usually says something about, um, he says something. It's the Santa from, um, Polar Express. Yeah, I think that because the batteries don't work anymore, like, it's definitely time to just, like, get rid of these.
So yeah, we're definitely gonna just have to take a bag and like just decide which ones are even worth keeping. So. Just, just look at all this stuff. I mean, craziness. More frogs. Yep. More frogs. I will keep this because I want to eventually have a garden. And, like, I can just put this out in my garden. And so, definitely will keep this. Because I can put this out in the garden or hang it up. And this is very, like, boho cheek and like earthy colored so I like it's like perfect for indoor or outdoor so I like that and um, so we'll keep this so more stuff animals of course and um, I found a hat but honestly we can probably just get rid of this for the sake of I don't wear baseball caps anymore so why do I need it right and um, I mean, yeah, it had a memory because it was from a trip I went on, but at the same time, like, I don't wear baseball caps anymore. So, don't need it, right? So, put that in the cell or either donation pile. Here's another hat. And it seems like it's not even, like... Is it even, like, now we're going to try it on. Put this, put it down. <laughs> yeah, okay. It still works, right? I don't know. Tell me how I look, right? <laughs> so, um, got this from Disney, but I don't know. Don't know what the point in keeping it is. I mean, like super cute, but like, what am I gonna wear it for? You know, like, haven't worn it in years, so probably just gonna, probably gonna just get rid of it. Right. Hardest thing is that some of this stuff is my sister's and then some of this is mine, so I have to like really figure out what's mine and what's my sister's. So, oh. so now we have look at this guy, he's a big fat pillow. His name is Franklin, apparently, according to the tag. No, it's Frankie, Frankie the Frog. So, yeah, he is a big. Big guy. So, kind of another stuffed animal. Someone gave me this actually. They found it at like I think a big lot and they gave it to me. And I used to use it as like a pillow for my back in this like weird chair I had that like you literally just like fell right into. But at the same time, like, I don't have that chair anymore. I would not want it back. It was not a very comfortable chair. And, like, not like I'm going to take this anywhere. So, probably going to donate this. I have been, like, really trying to encourage myself to, like, get rid of some frog stuff. Because I was, like, that kid who, like, loved their favorite animal so much that they were, like, determined to collect every type of frog thing they could. And so I am like, we are going to get rid of some stuff. And so, yeah, we're going to get rid of him. Like, honestly, we're going to probably like just take a real hardcore, you know, look through all these stuffed animals on another day, not today. <laughs> so. <sighs> So now over here we have more stuffed animals. Bring them out into like the lighting a little bit. 
Yeah, more stuff animals over here. And then, of course, this is a cute, cute little baby. Little baby crib thing for a doll. I'm definitely going to keep this for any children I might have. Or even, like, a niece or nephew. Um, but probably the stuffed animals, um... I don't know. Still figuring that out. I, I'm honestly very debative. Oh, and just in case, just in case a friend of mine watches this, here's a Barney for you. Anyways. <laughs> More stuffed animals. I would. One thing is, some of the stuffed animals are my sister's, and I've been really trying to only go through what I think is mine. So, <coughs> hopefully, <coughs> hopefully that is the case. <laughs> but then I also have this Disney picture, which of course I will keep and hang up. Um. So, then, honestly, the only other thing that I see are, there's a lot of boxes here, okay, yeah, so there's, um, these stuffed animals, this is all stuff to go to a dollhouse that I have and see it's like cute little doll like you know the bathroom set and creepy little people some of them are broken so honestly probably we'll have to get rid of it because it's like it's not in good shape anymore and like some of it's like sticky which I'm not really sure why like how did it get sticky? I'm, I have no idea. So, I, I'm like, I may just get rid of it. So, so now, of course, there is more stuff animals. And, so, and then, of course, Raggedy Ann. Raggedy Ann is not wearing the correct outfit, but I'm not even sure if this is an American Girl doll outfit or what, but yeah, Raggedy Ann. So, a bunch of stuffed animals to go through. So, yeah, I think we're just gonna have to like create a whole separate day just for going through stuffed animals. Ugh. I feel like that is a good amount for today, uh, especially, and then maybe what I'll do is just like on another day, I will actually like have a bag that I will like literally um, just like, I'll have like another bag that I'll specifically um, just bring up and like really start like put in like any stuffed animals that I think I don't need to keep anymore in there because for like I'm finding that like the overload of stuffed animals is like ridiculous like I think it's I think it's fine to save stuff and some stuffed animals and like keep them for your kids but like it's unreal the amount of stuffed animals I have so unreal I don't need that many. Like, for my memories or for, like, to pass on. <laughs> like, I just. Plus, like, I mean, if I get married and have kids, like, I'm sure they got stuffed animals too. So, I mean, there's that as well. 
So we will work on that. Um, so that's that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this like video of like me being like kind of more interactive and just like trying to like show you like how like kind of the minimal minimalism process works. And just thought it would be fun to like kind of like just like do this with you rather than do it all by myself. And so have an awesome day. <laughs>